guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today's video is another reaction video. It's been a minute since I've done a reaction video to someone else's hair care routine, but y'all love. <laughs> y'all love when I do these and it's not often that we have natural hair, curly hair videos to react to on a large scale, but literally last night I was on YouTube and I got a recommendation for Logan Browning's Natural Curls Hair Tutorial, How I Do on Harper's Bazaar. So here we are, like literally 24 hours later, I'm here in front of the camera because I wanna be back consistent. <laughs> And I'm actually really curious. So she's from Dear White People. I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with that show or familiar with her. She's absolutely freaking stunning. And I'm actually curious to see how she does her hair. My name is Lexi. If you are new here, I would love for you to join the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you've been here before and you're not a part of the Cannon Kings family, I'm not too sure why. So let me scoot over just a bit. <laughs> Not the microphone being in the shot. Oh gosh, well I'm not gonna move now. So, <laughs> I had the video on my phone and we're gonna just watch it, see what's good. See what her hair care routine is. Let's just get into it. Hi, I'm Logan Browning and this is how I do my wash and style. She's calling it a wash and style, which is interesting um, as opposed to a wash and go. Hair type I have, uh, I have kind of a a mixture of curls. I have looser curls, kinkier curls. It really depends on what part of the map of my head you're on. I think and all of so us because of that, <laughs> can how I relate. Style my hair is really important. You know, like the middle, the crown of my hair is a bit uh, coarser, so I have to pay a lot of attention there. And then around the the nape of my neck and my hairline is much looser of a curl. But if I had to guess, no, I'm not gonna guess. I really don't know. All right, so. I don't blame her for not telling us her hair type because I know when you say your hair type, people are gonna argue you down. Whatever you say, they're gonna be like, no, that's not that, that's that. No, actually, I have that hair type. You don't have that hair type. So, and I've actually called people out for thinking they have 4C hair and I don't think they do. So I don't blame her. <laughs> for not putting a name, a letter, and a number on her hair. It's also why I'm like, even though her and I have different hair textures, this video could still be fun to do and I could still, you know, see her products, her technique, her steps, and you guys might have hair closer to her texture. And we compare routines and compare things that we like because I think that if we stop thinking about hair typing so, so much, we can find that most of us can have similar routines and similar um, ways of styling our hair products specifically can work for different hair types although you know I'm really heavy on like representation and making sure that I'm showing up for y'all with you know the fro and the texture because we're not often seen you know but it's a whole different topic nobody asked me about that let's watch <laughs> the damn video so, just got out of the shower my hair is still wet before I got out of the shower by the way hair was big massive very tangled which I love but one thing that I've started to do is use Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder. Not now, the Diva Curl. This is not a cleanser. This not the not Diva Curl. This is a detangler. And I'm the kind of girl who used to just wet my hair. Not the Diva the tissue, Curl. Figure it out along the way, getting the tangles out. But I noticed a lot of shedding and I kind of wanted to work on that. So wet your hair and section it off, put this in, Finger detangle. Okay, so Diva Curl. Look, I'm nobody, I'm not against Diva Curl. I didn't cancel Diva Curl. Well, I stopped using Diva Curl because you don't gotta tell me twice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if y'all are aware, if you're not aware, they did have some scandals. I feel like it was like a year, no, before the pandemic. So damn, it's been a while. They had a scandal whenever that was. <laughs> People were saying that using Diva Curl was causing their hair to fall out, causing thinning, causing different issues. Um, and most people that were saying that people that use Diva Curl like only, like religiously, like the entire collection. Now I'm someone because of the YouTube stuff and everything like that, I use a variety of products. What I have tried from Diva Curl, I freaking loved. I've never had an issue with them. Um, but because I wasn't using it religiously, I felt like I couldn't really say or notice if it was messing up my hair or not. Now some people feel like it didn't do anything wrong to them. They don't have issue with Diva Curl and I respect that. 
that's her. <laughs> that's Logan. But other people are like, you know what, like myself, I'm not going to risk it. There is so much things out there. Why risk it? You know, now I have not tried that um, pre shampoo, that detangler thing from Diva Curl. But it's one thing I know the people that I seen use it, they go up, they go up <laughs> for this product. And it's like a pre poo, you pre detangle, you pre shampoo, and then you go in with the shampoo. Let me know if y'all have tried that product. I've heard nothing but good things about it. But again, personally, I stopped using Diva Curl just because I didn't want to risk it, like I said. But one of my favorite, all-time favorite deep conditioners is from Diva Curl, and I haven't used it um, since that whole scandal situation happened. Try to Logan though, because you had, you had to be a strong individual to hear that people's hair is falling out and you being like, you know what, I'm good, my hair has been good. And Diva Curl, in their defense, they did do, you know, some research. They did post, like they had like scientists look at their products and different things of nature and everything seemed clean and came out fine. And they actually have like reformulated and relaunched again, I saw recently. So I guess, you know, I can't say that they messed up my hair, so I'm not gonna accuse them of that, you know, on a personal level. As long as it doesn't have a sulfate, I'll use it. So I use this to cleanse. So she likes sulfate free wash everything out. shampoos. That's when you wash out, or when I wash out, the cleanser and the pre-cleanse. Okay. The next thing I do is kind of an extra step she I got hype do. <laughs> for this one i love olaplex um i will take olaplex. some of this conditioner run it through my hair let it sit Look. for a very short period of time and rinse it but the reason i don't let this one sit in for too long is because i oh my gosh this is how much more I diva this. curl okay hold on i get the olaplex hype now i really do i really do so i've tried the olaplex number eight and it was fire i haven't tried number five but a lot of people really 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 like it so let me know in the comments if you've tried olaplex number five i just know that olaplex number eight worked really really well for me that's the reason why i wanted to make this video i felt like that she wouldn't be using things that i never heard of like i figured that i would know what she was using even though we have different hair types so she just grabbed diva curl conditioner because sis said look i'm team diva curl don't tell me nothing and i appreciate it like good live your life if your hair looks good well we didn't see her hair yet we didn't see her hair yet but from what i've seen of her pictures and her other things her hair is really beautiful so anywho it's almost gone it's empty That's sad. uh this is diva curls melt into moisture and it's a matcha butter the conditioning best <laughs> you're really supposed to leave this in as like a once a, every blue moon treatment but i use it as my conditioner and I it is it. fire so i leave that in for a bit i fire when i'm feeling lazy i will use tracy ellis ross's incredible pattern detangling brush i love this so much because it has a hook well a hole for a hook and I can hang it in my shower. I also use her clip, which I'm going to take. She's going up for this Pattern Beauty brush. The Pattern Beauty brush did not like me. I did not like it. I think the bristles were just too tough for my hair. <laughs> my hair likes a more movable, more flexible type of brush. But I've seen people that have her hair type really enjoy this brush. So obviously personal preference. Um, but it is a really sturdy and good quality brush. I gave it to my cousin and she loves it. So, you know, just depends on your hair texture. My hair is also super, super thick. So that plays a part as well. All right, so this is my hair freshly washed, freshly conditioned. My hair is gonna get dry as we go on. It's already starting to do that. So I keep water on deck and I actually like the travel size. Models, yes. They're just easier to maneuver. Yes, you yes. can get your For My Kinks <laughs> Continuous Mace 360 bottles in my shop, ForMyKinks.com. I have these same bottles, a little bit bigger and the clear, so you can see what, you know, how the water's looking. <laughs> Make sure it's looking good and smelling good and all kind of stuff. Um, I love these bottles. I don't do wash day without these bottles. It's just really helpful for styling and stuff like that. So she's redding her hair because it dried out with all of the talking and maneuvering <laughs> out of the shower. Y'all, okay, drag me if you want. I still use Diva Curl. I know Sis the whole said, like, Diva Curl, you shouldn't use it anymore, blah, blah, blah. I still use it. I love it. You gotta use what works for you. My I hair agree. Is fine and it's been fine and 
Yeah, I love Diva Curl. This is what I use. So, um... I don't blame her. Sis pulled out the Diva Curl collection. Okay, so she, she pulled out the Diva Curl collection. And I stand because I think that it's important to do what works for you. Like I said before, I'm scary. So I was like, ain't no point in try testing the waters. But her hair is good, her hair is fine. And she said, look, it works for me, it works for me. Like that's it. She pulled out the whole Diva Curl collection. <laughs> when it comes to my, my styling, I like to try to use, um, all of the same line of products. I feel like products are meant to work together. This is Interesting. one thing that the curl doctor Shai taught me. A couple of things, make sure that your product, the first ingredient is water. Um, For moisture. In your ingredients, you do it to the foods you eat, do it to the stuff you put in your hair and on your face and on your body. Um, <laughs> so first ingredient always has to be water and make sure it doesn't have any shea butter, any sulfates. I think she meant Mineral silicone. Oils, you don't want that stuff that's coating your hair. I'm gonna start with. I think she meant silicone, not shea butter. Believe in Archangel Gel. This is my magic potion. You'll see how I use them. So, first so things. I'm enjoying this video because I feel like it's clear, concise, simple. It's not all over the place. Like she has a simple routine that she sticks to. Well, simple in my opinion. It depends on what you call simple. You know how you do your hair. Let me know. If you guys like, you know, subscribe to the whole no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. I've realized over the years that my hair prefers products that are cleaner. I will have better results. The results will also last longer. So I actually like when things aren't super full of crap, <laughs> but that's because of like everything, like skincare the same way. My body reacts better to those things and my hair looks better. Now I'm not completely silicone free, but most of my, if not all of my favorite conditioners are silicone free and I just tend to have silicone free and sulfate free wash days on a regular basis and my hair thrives in this way. So curious to hear your thoughts. I know some people are just like, you know what, it doesn't matter. Whatever works for me works for me. I don't care what's in it. And that's just a personal preference. I'm still hung up on her being team Diva Curl because I haven't really seen anyone like really go up for them. But I appreciate the honesty. I feel like some people would have changed their routine to use things that are more, you know, not as questionable or not as in drama. But it's like, no, this works for me. This is what I use. And I appreciate that because. Like I said, some people would have lied and pulled out a whole new routine to avoid showing whoever's watches this Harper's Bazaar video <laughs> that she's going up for Diva Curl. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, Logan. So she's using two leave-ins and a styler or one leave-in and a styler. We'll see. All Diva Curl. style, you're ready for prom. So the top of my hair, like I said, it's getting dry. So that's when this water is gonna come into play because you want to start with water before you put your products on. And I'm saying you, but I really mean me. This is what I do. So I just start going in. I apply water too. And I prefer my hair, my hair damp, the not soaking wet. The thing that I, I'm gonna know that it's wet enough is when I can run my fingers through it. But I tend to I'm use- detangled in the shower. Do twist outs and not wash and go. Step one, water. Step two, super cream. And I use enough to get it on my hands I focus this on the ends. The super cream is just adding moisture, believe in. Also, my hands just are gonna get more wet, more messy. There's gonna be more hair on them by the so end. So this is a this, plumping this primer, you, which you is like, I guess a pre-styler. Use it and keep going. Really interesting. Um, so the same amount of believe in. This one she's putting all over. Hair. The last one she put like mainly on the ends. The top of my hair is a little bit more of a problem area. <laughs> That's me. I'd be like, look, I can't complain about you. Don't don't mess me up, please. Sorry. She added more. We want juicy, juicy curls. I'm enjoying this video. The only reason I can run my fingers through my hair is because I detangled in the shower. When it comes to curly hair, you have to go step by step. Every step is important. And if you skip one in your routine, you'll see it later, so. That's true. And the other thing I learned about my curly hair is that, you know, wash and go is a myth. That's why I call this my wash and style. Because That's facts, it's 100% a myth. Like you gotta go upside down, use a diffuser, do all that. 
that's why I like twist outs and braid outs because I don't really too, I don't focus too much on definition like at all when it comes to like, I'm not too big on definition. But for those of you who are, I feel like the wash and go, wash and style process can be really tedious, obviously depending on your hair texture. Um, this process is not crazy, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's just like, <laughs> it's similar to mine, you know? So, and we'll see how long this lasts her. If it's like a whole week, that or even like four days then i could see why it would be worth it you know because my twist outs last me like a week and then i wash it all over again so it's not super super crazy to spend a couple of hours or two hours doing you know um these steps so the last step is this diva curl archangel okay she's using the supreme defining gel and internet i hope you know how much i love you i'm letting you see me very crazy looking right now <laughs> So you know it's real. Do the same thing. That's me all the time. The final step is taking my Denman brush and just going mm. through. For those of you who like have curly hair and do oh, stuff like this, do you separated. use a, a different brush to okay. define so the curls? My cut has grown out. Really interesting. Um, I used to have a bang and now I kind of don't. I'm gonna fast forward a bit. Okay, she's doing some like little ringlets. What's this called? It's not shingling, is it? When you like do like that? I think it's shingling. Let's see how it ends up at the end. I actually genuinely enjoy doing these types of videos. I just find it so interesting. If you want to watch, you know, the full length video, I will leave it linked down below. It's on the Harper's Bazaar website or YouTube channel. Why I said website. So she's finished. All my hair has product in Cute. It. What I do is I will take some kind of hair turban. With, I ain't never heard uh, of this. Microfiber towel. Quick dry Petroleum hair wrap. Right? And I flip my hair. This looks fancy. And uh, it's called plopping, basically what I'm going to do. Um, you can find it elsewhere on the internet. <laughs> uh, you basically, you don't I have never seen this towel. before. I'm flip my hair and then push it up. So basically all my hair is going to be sitting on the top of my head. I've seen I that. And I do this to just encourage the curls to kind of like lock it. Interesting. Um, you can kind of see me. So I take this okay. my hand and I just push my curls up like this. And when I push them up, you see that motion? That's really good. Nice I'm thoroughly intrigued. Little, oh. Okay. We're okay with that. Guy. Interesting. What I will say is I have a microfiber towel in my shop. This whole video sounds like an ad for my store, but I actually love my microfiber towel. I've never thought to use it like after styling to help quickly dry your hair without disturbing the curls. It's just more so for me, the pre-styling step, you know? This is a microfiber towel, she said, and she's using it like, you know, to quickly dry her hair and help set it, it seems like. I've never really seen this before, have y'all? I'll leave this for about 30 minutes. Um, I'll take it down and uh, later I will take my Dyson diffuser the girls, the curly girls, love this Dyson diffuser. And Let me I'll tell dry you. I'll my hair upside down um, until it's completely dry. But the reason I do this step first is it gets rid of some of the excess moisture. You saw how much water and product I put in my hair. Hmm. Um, and when I take my hair down, it's kind of already. It just is kind of ready to go. All right. Oh, it's so pretty. So I just wanted to come back and show you what this is my cute. Hair looks like once it's all dry. This is cute. Out. I really like this. Okay. I think I can stop there. I saw the results. Super, super freaking cute. I've seen lots of curly girls. They focus more so on drying it in that state so there's no frizz and no, you know, issues. They're really, really focused on keeping the perfect ringlets. I love that her hair has like a natural frizz to it it looks really just like carefree versus like perfect i think that the issue <laughs> we always are chasing like perfect curls perfect definition perfect shine whatever and then it's like unattainable i focus on cleanliness and moisture and that's it like <laughs> if i really wasn't on youtube i probably would have locks by now or I will have my hair just like in plaits i take it out it's big it's fluffy i do not focus any point of my time on definition um, because I live in a humid environment. Miami is extremely humid. 
focusing on curl definition for my hair texture is just like a waste of time. So it just depends on, you know, who you ask, who you are. Her hair came out freaking stunning and she is team diva curl. So that's on period. <laughs> I really want to know what you guys think. Let me scoot back over because I'm bothering myself being off center. I really want to know what you guys think if you guys um, are willing or if you have tried the reformulated, redone up diva curl products. I think it actually could be interesting um, because I'm sure they spent a lot of money, a lot of time trying Trying to rectify and reformulate and give y'all what y'all want that melt into moisture deep conditioner used to like i look fire fire let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section i would love to chit chat with y'all i really really enjoy the type of videos let me know any other things i can react to whether that be on tiktok youtube wherever y'all find <laughs> your entertainment you can dm it to me on instagram and while you're over there you can follow me as well at candid kinks thank you guys so much for watching shout out to harper's bazaar logan browning this was so cute um and yeah i'll see y'all the next one to stay up <laughs> stay up